Hope you're doing well. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. Let's jump into it. Collecting corridor is pretty neat. Regina and I, back in the, in the jungle, we took this little dirt red, barely flowing stream of water. Uh, right behind where Ian is standing, right here, there was a, a probably, I put a little note, did a 50% water change yesterday, for a storm day before, to make a little menthol and bread. People are, I mean, you know, you, you pay $250 for a fish and you got a group of 10 of them, it's got $2,500, and I'm like, do I really want to drop this out of 4.8? Yeah, I'm crazy that I ain't that crazy. And the feet, the males are narrower, and the males have longer pectoral spines on them. Um, that's the best way of telling on fish that are close to being adult size. The pelvic fins now, males more color enhanced, and the females kind of a little bit washed out. Diet for these guys, I already mentioned here a little bit ago that it's mostly a meat diet. Number one food for conditioning for breeding is black worms. To them, you don't want to float them. So what you do is you grab a couple of cubes in, the in your fingers, put them in the tank, squeeze them, kind of roll them a quick second, squeeze them in a different direction. Do that two or three times. Take them out of the water and continue to roll them around in your fingers or use, use you know, two sets of fingers to kind of squeeze all the water out of them. When you drop the ball in the tank, they'll go right to the bottom. They have a strong odor. When you get a tank and you do that, when, as a matter of fact, when you put them in and squeeze them in that tank, the fish, they start going crazy. They can smell it, it gets in the water. And by the time you work, you drop it in there everywhere, within 30 seconds, they're usually on it. Even if they never even had Tubamex before, they're gonna be on them. But when I was a kid, I used to crush snails all the time for my fish to eat. Well, I had a C corridor CW158, pretty rare quarry, couldn't get them to spawn. I started crushing snails in there, within two weeks I got them to start spawning. And I really truly believe it was for this, the, the diet of getting this crustacean meat added to their diet. Um, you just get the, the, usually the smaller ones are better, it depends on the size of the quarry. But you just squash them against the glass, drop them in. They'll sift through the shells and eat the meat of the snails, great food. And now recently we've been doing white worms too. We've tried it for years, you gotta do a wine puller, just put bread in there, water. I don't even use milk, it follows them quicker. And you can grow white worms, it's pretty easy. I use a variety of the meat foods, and again, pellets. If you look at this, it's all earthworms and, uh, and uh, krill sticks and biformos, a little bit of everything. Now to the garden of eater. And figure out what may yeah. make it tick um, right, and then find out when the season is. Like that, that's why she bred that stuff in that system. I've been doing my thing for 10 years. This was the first time. I know that system on the video, probably like six, seven years ago. No, I caught this on film. No way. So I have it somewhere. It's one of the videos. These guys represent and had to treat myself. Been wanting these forever. They're bomb. Managed to get a few things from the club here. Got some goodies from the Garden of Eater. Big, big, big shout out to him. Got some tangerine tigers. You guys like shrimp? Garden of Eater is loaded with shrimp. You don't know that who they are, they are on YouTube. These are yellow King Kongs. But they've got all the Neo Caradinas, all the Caradinas. So many shrimp, beautiful blue bolts here. And crystal blacks, BBLs, these are the pure black lines. More things. Bunch of Java fern. Look at these fancy Dumbo guppies. These things are amazing. Look at the females. Who are those? Some killifish. Some patchy paint checks. Some of you guys may know the player fair, play Fair Eye. These are the Sakuran guy. I got a couple of those. And last but not least, these guys, once again, those females, amazing. Tuxedo guppies. The Dalmatian toes, those are gorgeous. Plant for Sarah. Mm. And since I've got well water, dechlorinated water, time to give these guys their bath. Get a better look at them. Nice and clean. Isn't that cool? Now, time to quarantine. Beautiful.
Yeah, this is why I drive two hours for fish. Cause man, look at that. Iridescence on them. I didn't notice that at first. Get the light on them just right. See a lot of that iridescence coming out. Flashing as that tail waggles. That is really cool. Oh, beautiful. Those are magical. Worth every penny. Paid some high dollar for these. Even at a club auction. That's what I mean. Well, look. They're amazing. Here's a Fundalus Chrysotis. See the little red on the fin there? The Golden Ear Killy. See more of the patterning red. Speckle. The shiny speckles. Come on guys, these guys are not showing. Cool killy. And as far as the Apache Pan checks, Sakarami. These guys are still pretty small. I don't just see much out of them yet. These are great for those guys who love those unique bat points. And here are the tangerine tigers. These things are legit. Look at the color on them. Beautiful shrimp. Yellow King Kong, which these are a really cool line. Grant has selectively bred these to where they'll throw really patterns, which is rare for a Caradina species. Really neat. But these are all solid. Here's, a, blue. Here's a bunch of blue bolts. How blue those are. We wanted these for a long time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Garden Eater. They have a house that is a lot like my old house. They actually have more tanks in their house now than had at my old house. And last but not least, PVLs, pure black line, Caradina bees. Love these things like little shrimp cows. Thanks again, Garden Eater. What do you think, Christmas? You like them? New water bowl? And I am working on a new quarantine section. These used to be over there. And this rack's gonna be sweet. It's gonna have bells and whistles. Hopefully push button water change system. I gotta, it's gonna take time to build, but it's gonna be sweet. We gotta do some plumbing. And if you're new here, check out the channel. It's been a crazy journey. We have done so much between the big fish room we sold and then the new fish room we have now, what we're learning from nature, what I'm sharing with you guys. And a thank you all who have been liking, subscribing, supporting. Could not do this without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you can, share my videos, please do, because these can help so many hobbyists in so many different ways. And I appreciate you all, thank you. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.